what if i have to learn python from scratch are you new to python if yes then in this video i shall be clearing most of your doubts related to python what is python what are the different features of python why do we use python how important is it to learn python what is the community support is it a good language or not and what is the scope of python what if i learn python then what's next what are the next career options which leads from python to some other career option and a lot of questions a lot of doubts are there people also ask me what are the important resources from where we can learn python for free so if you have any question related to python this video is for you so let's get started why python well python has so many features talking about python python is easy to learn and code talking about the communities python has one of the best community support in the world of course javascript has a better one but talking about python python has a huge community support as well python is a object oriented language which makes it so easy to code and so easy to manipulate the code apart from that free and open source extensible libraries there are so many libraries in python when it comes to machine learning deep learning so many libraries are already pre built and many researchers on an average on a daily basis i think hundreds and hundreds of libraries are launched which makes our life even more easier so in a nutshell python is very easy to code very easy to learn easy to implement huge community support and that is one of the reasons why it makes python one of the most important languages and most importantly when it comes to data science and analytics many people choose python over other languages now what to learn in python well python is vast but from the learning point of view it's very simple and easy to learn at least you should know the topics like variables keywords you should know topics like data types what are the different data types like string integer boolean float data structures tuples lists sets dictionaries and then basics of file handling on how to read write a file open a file close a file and apart from that exception handling what are the different types of exceptions that are present how do we handle exception handling using try catch finally blocks loops iterations enumerators these are some of the basic topics which you need to learn in python and once you are done and dusted on these parts then your next target is to learn various libraries to get started with if your next journey is data science and analytics then you should always start with pandas numpy matplotlib or sklearn little bit these kind of libraries which makes your life easier when it comes to data analysis talking about resources well you will find a tons of python courses which are available on udemy on various other edutech platforms but why do we have to take a paid course when we already have free resources and talking about free resources we should talk about a platform called as free data camp where you can get python courses for free apart from that khan academy and there are some other resources as well where you can start learning python and when i'm talking about my channel and you are watching my video why don't you go through my playlist where i've also curated the python content it's around 6 hours of python content which is a part of my playlist where it has 15 16 videos it was recorded like 2 years back so the quality of that video won't be that great but it will definitely kick start your journey in python so the next topic which people usually ask me is what if i'm stuck i'm going through a free course 
well free courses doesn't offer you one to one consultation or they don't offer you support that is one of the drawbacks of course because support involves a a real person to be available for you to solve your problems right which is not possible in free courses how can we solve this kind of problem how can we get help from the community how can we get help from somewhere so that we are not stuck in our problems let's say you are solving a problem and you are stuck you are stuck in an exception for two days three days and you are not getting help don't worry python has one of the strongest communities in the world as i told you even better than javascript so why don't you just go and check out stack overflow simply when you get any kind of exception in python you just have to search the entire exception which you get on your console copy it paste it in google you will definitely find some blogs or some websites like stack overflow stack quest or some related blogs or websites where already existing users have already faced some issues and there will be some solutions as well you can easily get answers from them start debugging don't blindly ask people so what usually people do is when they are solving a problem they are stuck they immediately ask for help they ping it many people ping me on linkedin as well like linkedin whatsapp people misutilize that so my recommendation is always take from the community there is a beautiful community outside in the world take help from stack overflow in case your question or your error is not present why don't you ask a question on stack overflow there are hundreds and millions of users who are already active they will try to answer the question and you will easily get your answers so my main idea my main motive is give it back to the community and take from the community as well so the next question which people ask is well i have done python i learned tuples i learned lists string sets dictionaries file handling everything what's next well there are many options so if you are very good in python your next steps is to challenge yourself go to hacker rank go to some online portals where you can face some competitive questions try to increase the knowledge on python if you think yourself to be at certain level try to go beyond that study more try to answer competitive questions because once you start solving competitive questions this makes your life easier in getting a job because nowadays when it comes to fan companies or any big companies they are very strict on python even if you are applying for a data science or a machine learning role they will also be taking some python tests and talking about learning that's one part that you have to take challenging questions solve them and all those things in parallel start your journey in machine learning start learning about various libraries pandas numpy matplotlib seaborn try to learn about exploration of data eda exploratory data analysis which involves python and basics of statistics so in case you don't know about exploratory data analysis you can always check out my video i already have so many videos related to data analysis there is a 2 hours of dedicated video on eda where i talked about one specific use case on how do we get started with that use case analyze the data and stuff like that once you are good with data analysis your very next step is to learn machine learning nlp deep learning and the process goes on education is unlimited learning is not limited you just have to upgrade yourself every day so talking about projects now once you learned a certain topic let's say we are talking about python you learned python you learned the basics of ad you learned the basics of statistical analysis what's next how do we choose a project so that we can showcase in our resumes well the most important pointer here will be your domain knowledge if you are coming from a computer science background try to pick a use case which is relevant to computer science domain or else it domain if you are coming from a mechanical background try to choose some machine learning or 
some use cases related to me- uh, mechanical engineering try to get the data and try to do a ed basically for a fresher you are like water you can be filled in any form so for a fresher it's not mandatory to choose a domain level specific project you can choose any project start choosing any data set and perform ed exploration of data and that you can project in your resumes if you are not if you are not fresher if you are an experienced professional let's say you have 5 years experience into uh let's say banking sector you are working as some trade analyst now you want to get into data science how can we do that so start exploring the use cases related to banking sectors if you are in insurance start exploring use cases related to insurance sector cross selling upselling there are a lot of use cases in each and every domain try to read about these use cases and your next step will be try to find data sets once you have data sets you have the knowledge of python you know eda you what you need to do is you need to use the data and perform eda once you perform the analysis you get insights those insights can be presented as the outcome of this project and this project can be easily written down in your resumes in case you need any help for resume building exercises i already have videos related to resumes and in case you are looking out for end to end projects in power bi in eda in machine learning in my channel there are more than 20 plus end to end projects you can go through it practice it and then once you are very good at that you can write down in your resumes i won't recommend you to directly download the codes run it once and put it in your resumes no if you are putting anything to your resume make sure you understand each and everything because most of the interviews will be based on your projects which you have mentioned in the resume if you are mentioning xyz be sure of every topic related to xyz how much python should we know again a very important question so the level of python depends upon the type of job you are applying for if you are coming from programming background you are choosing a option like machine learning engineer data scientist these are the areas where they expect you to be very good at programming language because if you don't know programming language it's going to be very difficult for you to implement the use case write down the codes and all those things of course we don't write codes from scratch we get skeleton codes and then we update codes on on top of that codes but it's always recommended for you to be at least above intermediate level to get a job as a machine learning engineer or data scientist or computer vision of course knowledge on various libraries are going to be must but python intermediate level is more than enough now talking about data analysis or business analysis roles if you are coming from non programming background in that case basic to intermediate level of python is good so if you learn basics of string tuples lists little bit of dictionaries little bit of file handling little bit of exception handling that should be more than enough and then your immediate next step is to focus more on the eda part which also involves python but it's more of libraries right so when it comes to libraries the code structure changes python is more easy when it comes to pandas numpy and stuff like that again if you don't know about pandas and numpy you should always check out my videos there are detailed videos of all these topics to be very honest on data analysis i have almost end to end videos on data analysis and business analysis on a daily basis i am also uploading end to end projects make sure you check out all my projects in the channel so that's all about this video in case you are new to python now you know what should be your next steps so if i start learning python today i will be doing all the steps which i explained in this video i'll go through some of the resources free resources i will start learning python basics to intermediate level start practicing them once i am at the intermediate level i will start challenging myself by going through some online coding challenges and all those things and then my immediate next step will be learning basics of the libraries which leads to machine learning 
deep learning and all those advanced topics so that's it from my side that's it from this video in case you like it please like share and subscribe the channel press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos that's it from my side thank you bye bye